Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to a new mod update for my SCP mod. That's right, I finally got the freaking update done. You have no idea how long this took, because nothing wanted to work correctly the way I wanted it to. Like, legitimately, just the functions of this SCP right here were being bastards and were not working correctly. <laughs> like, this thing has gone through so many iterations, I, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't get it to work, and then I did get it to work, and then I got, it, and then another part of it didn't work, and I got that to work, and it it took a while. It it's been exhausting. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's two new SCPs in this, along with a bunch of minor changes. Uh, like for example, I'm pretty sure there's one around here. Uh, there's the SCPs now all spawn naturally. Uh, but a lot of them have really low spawn rate. <laughs> so you're not going to find them fucking everywhere, but there there are going to be more than one. Uh, because the portal system that I made was honestly feeling like shit. So, so I just decided, you know what, I'll just make them actual structures. I'll make them really rare. <laughs> just to keep that aspect of it's not going to be easy to find the SCPs. So yeah, I'm sure you're all wondering what these are. This is this entire update is called the Plague Update. So uh, what that entails is both of these SCPs have to do with uh, viruses. I was going to add the Plague Doctor, but his model's been being a bastard, and I'm still modeling him. <laughs> Every, I'm not happy with the model, and I want to get the model right. So instead, what we have is these guys. SCP... 1025, which is the Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Uh, and yes, it is green in its imagery. So, I made it green. And 008, the Zombie Plague. Uh, now, of course, it comes in a vial and it comes in a syringe. The vial is more of a uh, mass like containment unit. Uh, and the syringe is the injection thing. And how you get it out of this. So, um, yeah. These will spawn in different buildings. This spawns in a modified version of the library structure that houses another SCP. Uh, if you've seen it, the how-to book. I made a modified version of that. It's basically the exact same structure. I just changed the loot tables in it. Uh, and these spawn in a completely new structure. So... Yeah, you have these SCPs, and they are going to be in a few different structures. This one actually has the higher spawn chance, because according to its own lore, it's just in a bunch of, like, abandoned science sites, science facilities. So uh, it just kind of spawns in those. Now, right, we'll go over these SCPs real quick. So, 1025... Of course, is the Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. You read it, you get a random disease. So you see, I got weakness, wither, nausea, and uh, of course, if I grab, uh, you know, I'll just grab the panacea. <laughs> and of course, I could just cure them like that. But then there's also the zombie plague here, which this book can also give you. Any anomalous uh, disease, this book is going to be able to give you. Because technically its pages are supposed to just be inscribed with all sorts of different diseases, rather than are known or not. It's very interesting. Um, so yeah, the zombie plague syringe and, and vial. The vial is made... The vial is currently useless. Except for one thing. Uh, which is you can inject it you can put, you can make this using this by just having this in. I think I have to have this in the offhand if I remember correctly. And yep, yeah. I was gonna say I made this. A, I made that function a while ago. I was not sure if I still remember it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the crafting recipes for this are glass and iron ingot, and for the vial, it is a glass bottle and a glass. And apparently one of the mods in here has a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using I'm using another uh thing I was using. 
another little instance. Now, one thing you can do with this is add, is, you know, put, put the syringe in your offhand and you'll suddenly get this. But that also has something else tied to it. It will damage this item. This item has a small health pool and will eventually break. So you don't just have infinite. It's just because I've been creative that it didn't do any damage. <laughs> but yeah. So you can just make more of those. Uh, but then there's also what they spawn, which is a plague zombie. Uh, there's only one variant to this. I'm going to add more. But this can attack any humanoid uh, NPC. So let's go with well, almost any humanoid NPC. I haven't programmed it to attack like the other SCPs yet. Those will be coming in a future update. Uh, just because there's only really one human SCP. Well, I guess there's two if I count the fish. But <laughs> that'll that'll be like a cross SCP uh, update. So yeah, if I put down like let's say a pillager with a pillager egg. Let's say a pillager and a villager. Let's say I put down a villager. This, you see, the plague zombie will actually target it. And believe it or not, now that it's been hit, it is infected because this thing's attack will infect any entity that it attacks. So eventually, that villager is going to get slowness. The infection has a timer on it. Uh, so if I actually go into game mode i can show you here in a second but first i'm going to watch these guys fuck it you know i'm just gonna fucking spawn a small horde of them uh and of course they can infect players and players can be infected by this maybe i should have made them a bit faster i'm not sure i think i made of it i think i might have needed to make them faster i mean it's not like they're slow actually i think they're faster than a normal zombie but yeah, it turned it turned the villager into one of them. So yeah, here's something that doesn't run away. <laughs> it's just a pillager getting fucking bitch slapped. And you'll notice that there's a new one. Let me see if I can actually see that properly. Oh my god, if I could not have something in the way of them dying, that'd be nice. Yeah, there it is. You, you saw the thing spawn out of it. <laughs> There are a lot more. So yeah, it does, in fact, spread the infection. Uh, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to go game mode. Hold on. If I want to show this properly, I have to go game mode. So one thing I'm gonna do, just because I want to be able to show the infection, is I'm gonna give myself armor. And a weapon. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the entire process of how the infection works real quick. So if I go game mode survival, I'm going to have to run from these guys a second. And one of you hit at me. Yeah, they gave me the infection. Okay, good. I was going to say, I forgot, I forgot I don't have particle effects, so I can't check. Oh, God. Once this infection has run its course, I will show you guys one last thing. So, yeah, this timer has about... I think it was like 10 minutes. Or, no, wait, was it 9? I forget. <laughs> it has a certain amount of time on it. So, after like a certain amount of time, it will go through its entire process. At some point during this, I will get uh, blindness, uh, nausea, and something else uh, for that amount of time. And then after that, it will just kill me. Uh, but there is one other thing I want to show before the timer goes off. Uh, and that is, if I grab a plague zombie... And go into the syringe. Pretty sure I programmed this right. Yep. 
Zo you can get a zombie plague vial syringe if you can somehow get a, get one of the zombie the plague zombies in a state where you could just hit them with a syringe. Or you can right click on them with the syringe. You can just fill the syringe. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be more uses for this vial and the syringe in the future. Uh, mostly with other virus based SCPs. So this was more of like a setup for that. Uh, which is useful. The, the zombies aren't the strongest, but there's a lot you can do with that. You can infect an entire village and basically infect your entire world almost with the fact that they will kill any humanoid creature. <laughs> I'm probably going to add more to that list as I like remember. Oh yeah, there's more. <laughs> and I'm probably going to make it so that they are a threat to some of the humanoid SCPs as well later on. And probably make zombified versions of them. Actually, actually, in saying that, I just thought of something that would look really cool and I'm probably going to do for one of the next updates. <laughs> just because of how wicked that would be. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... How long does this thing have? Okay, it's going to be a while, so I'm just going to cut to where... Uh the infection is on its next stage. Okay, I am back. Uh, I accident When I went to click off, uh, it was showing the blindness and nausea effect. But, uh, it, I, it ran out before I could click. It ran out before I could, uh, click. Because I got up to do something real quick while I was waiting. And then came back and it was already halfway through. So, yeah, it don't, yeah, the more the longer lasting effects are mining fatigue and slowness. And it's really bad slowness. Like this is the type of slowness that will screw you over. <laughs> so yeah, being infected with this is not fun. Uh luckily it is curable with it is still curable with milk. Sadly. <laughs> uh but I will be eventually finding some kind of way to counteract that. So that it can only be removed with the panacea. <laughs> so yeah, um, it will give you slowness and blindness and nausea. Blindness and nausea will last, won't last as long as the mining fatigue and slowness, which will last through the entire rest of the infection, <laughs> up until the virus, you know, turns you. So uh. We're just gonna sit here and uh, see how see when we uh, turn, and you will all get to see. Oh my god! I almost got killed by another plague zombie. I didn't realize there were two more. Something's going on. I think. Oh wait, I know what. Why are there so many of you? Are they naturally spawning? I might need to do a quick update to the mod. I think there's. Okay, there will be a bug fix after this, but um, I think that. I think that zombie screwed me over because now the timer's been reset. <laughs> he reset my infection so it didn't clear so I didn't die. Oh boy. <laughs> that is the one weird thing about this because of the way infections work. Uh, but yeah, it will kill you and it will give you the thing turned uh, when it runs out of time. So, uh, yeah, that is... That is about it. So I hope everyone has enjoyed. I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the next SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, subscribe, so comments, and contain that subscribe button. There will be an update coming out later today to fix the weird spawning that is not supposed to happen. I turned off spawning for them. I don't know why they're spawning. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see y'all in this video, live stream, or whatever, whatever I do next. Peace, guys.